Hello friends, Tony here. On yesterday's video about the Laravel development on macOS, Windows and Linux, I said I prefer WSL over Laragon on Windows and I had some comments here. So the first one said on Windows by far the easiest and portable development environment is Laragon and I am 100% agree with this one but I prefer WSL. So then we have a reply to this and it's the same, so love Laragon when I'm using on Windows, but working on Mac is the easiest setup for sure. Then we have this one. WSL is good, but it is heavy and gave me some errors. It is a difficult setup. With this one, I am not agree. It's not the difficult to set up, it's very easy to set up. And I'm going to show you why I prefer WSL over the Laragon. Also with the latest release about the Laravel prompts package. Now let's open, I have installed, I am inside the Windows and I have installed Laragon. And also I have set up the WSL. So let's open first the, the Laragon default terminal and I am inside the Laragon slash www. Now if I say here PHP version, yeah, we can see we have 8.2.9. Now if I want to create a new project, let's say Laravel new, hit enter and yeah, we have what is the name of the new project and let's say just test for now. And we have here, would you like to install a starter kit? None, Breeze or Jetstream. Now if I want to install Breeze here, we need to say, give it the name. And then also give it the name for Blade React or what you like. Now let's close this. And let's see on uh, the terminal, I have installed Git Bash. And let's zoom it this one and I am inside the Laragon slash www and on git bash also I have installed the z shell so if I say z shell dash version we have version find 5.9 also here I have the Ubuntu and let's zoom it also this one and let's say z shell version here here we have the version of 5.8 Okay, now also on the git bash with a z shell installed, if I say Laravel new, we have this uh, what is the name of your project, the same as the default Laragon terminal. And let's say just test, and then would you like to install a starter kit? We need to write the name of the starter kit. Let's close this and also I'm going to stop the Laragon. Okay, now here I am in the WSL and let's navigate in the code directory. And let's say here Laravel new. If I hit enter here, yeah, we have more beautiful look here. What is the name of your project? And let's say just test, for example, hit enter. Now we have, would, would you like to install a starter kit? And we have here a drop down and we can select what we like. So, let, so let's select the Laravel Breeze. The same thing. We have a select a drop down here. We can select Blade, for example. Dark mode. Yeah, we can select yes or no. And the same for test. And that's it. So the application already exists. I just want to show you why I prefer WSL over the Laragon, especially with the Laravel prompts package, which only works with the WSL on Windows. Okay, friends, that's it about uh, this video. Now, if you want to use WSL and it's difficult for you to set up, you can watch my Auto setup Ubuntu for Laravel development, or you can comment on this video and maybe I will create a video how to set up a WSL for 
Laravel. All the best, friends, and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.